In this lesson, we continue the deformer menu here, the bulge deformer. When you click that, as you can see, this bulge deformer is for bulging the object, making fatter or thinner. Okay, we insert an object cylinder here. As you can see, it's a cylinder. As I said before, in deformer object, the segments of the object are very important for better deforming them make the segment rotation and the height the <clears throat> height segment increase the, those settings to higher number that's okay and as i said before for inserting the best way for assigning the deformer to the object is holding shift these are the purple command that have to be child of the object holding shift and click bulge it's a better way to assigning the bulge to the objects as you can see it's automatically fit to object and automatically try the cylinder if you select a, a <clears throat> bulge we have two important fields and objects in the object you can change the size as you want as you want this is fit to object this is align and when you for example deleting that you when you don't hold shift and insert the bulge you have to automatically you have to manually change the direction change the size and anything that bulge has and click and drag it bring the child of the uh, cylinder you have to do all of that by yourself but if you hold a shift, the software does anything, does all of that uh, process automatically for you. Okay, if you want to fit to object, you can now click to fit to parent. It automatically fit to parent. But I control Z because I want to explain mode for you. Okay, for first time, I make it fit to object to... <clears throat> Changing the strengths, as you can see, if you change the strengths, it's bulging. You can change the strengths. And as you know, we have a curve here. You can change the curve to the linear by increasing or decreasing the curvature. As you can see, the curve is smooth, but if you have, click the fillet, we have a fillet at the beginning and the end of the bulge. Because the bulge is fit to parent, fit to object, all of the objects will be affect. And I want to explain mode. For explain mode, I resize the bulge. Sorry. Uh, make it zero. Make it zero. Right click on this arrow to make it zero. I change the size of Y like this. Oh make it the strings zero as you can see we have the box that is in the middle of the object if i change the strings as you can see it changed just the width in the box so in this mode limited and the width in the box is not different because the bolt just uh, do its job just in its box but if you mm, activate unlimited when you want to uh, activate unlimited you have to turn off the fillet to make it now as you can see it acts uh, unlimited to its box it's further more than its boxes uh, the bulge execute on all objects as you can see unlimited but if you within box of limited, it's just limit in its box. Unlimited, whole object. But if you active fillet, I don't know why. Uh, yes, because it is um, fillet in the angles, fillet in the bottom. Um, it's created fillet in the bottom and top of the uh, object. And going smooth here because of that. Unlimited does not act when a fillet is turned on. For seeing the unlimited mode, you have to turn off the fillet. 
and you can change the curve like this okay if you want to <clears throat> assign a fillet to for example object that has a lot of hierarchy what should you do there in that mode for example I bring a flower or the text or anything that you want <clears throat> for example 3d text no, no that's flower I want to give an extrude to that holding alt to do that for bulging you have to go to the flower make subdivision to make better segments change the segments of the subdivision here can go into the cap the caps ligure i explained them before uh, and you can change it okay that's okay and now as you can see we have a two object here uh, when you want to assign the bulge to it it's better to make them uh, both side of the null object this is one of the usage of and benefit of the null object as you can see we have a hierarchy and when you assign it to bulge holding shift or anything you it's okay because you select the extrude in this case you can hold shift and the bulge will be assigned to the object and make it and uh, act correct but uh, when so, sometimes you have an object that has a lot of hierarchy and you want to go to assign it to the uh, object that you don't miss up or confuse so uh, so with that you can holding uh, shift and assign the bulge to make fit and assign and align its direction to the object click and drag and release that and as you can see you can uh, <clears throat> create a null object and click and drag and make both of them child of the null object in the null object there are uh, side of each other and the bulge affect that object in this method if you change the strings as you can see the bulge affect in this way better so in this way you do not confuse to the object manager and hierarchy and you can uh, define your object clearly so you can do all of the bend deformer like this to execute its object and act like this so bring them on the null object and another tab is field i explained the field in the previous uh, lessons in a bend but it's very simple hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release